I'm brothers and sisters, you are now watching SCL's <laughs> display. <laughs> Shout out to uh, <laughs> the gamer 2323. Uh, Jim, he's awesome. Uh, awesome um, game reviewer and uh, Twitch uh, game follower. He's, he's really awesome. Um, YouTube, I can't believe news I just heard. So I'm part of this group, right? on uh, Facebook. The name of my group is We're the Geek World Order. The Library Kids, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to my dude Demetrius Hope for sharing this because this is monumental news. Now, the speculation has been since three or four days ago that there was a rumor that Zack Snyder was going to be putting up like maybe first five seconds of a new trailer for Batman vs. Superman, okay? And it's supposed to come out right about Thursday around 9 a.m. Um, there's been talks that not only is there going to be a trailer for Mad Max, but there's going to be a, a trailer coming out with the Avengers. So Avengers comes out on May 1st. Tomorrow's date is um, April the 16th. And then... Um, the last part of the rumor was on Monday that there was going to be a open slot for, I guess, I mean, probably AMC theaters if it's only IMAX. It, IMAX exclusive is going to be able to actually have the full trailer for people to be able to watch and view, right? So I was like, man, what in the world is going on? So I was like, I was hyped up, but you know, like we, we dealt with the Super Bowl situation. We dealt with uh, some other movie that we were hoping to have the trailer with. I don't even know what that was. I pushed it out of my memory because I was disappointed. And then we were supposed to get it, I guess, at the end of the year last year, like some kind of tease. The one from the New York Comp, from the, not New York, but San Diego Comic Con, we thought it was going to be online, but it wasn't. And from what I understand, that might even be actual footage at all. So I was been disappointed time after time after time, right? And I was like, man, I can't deal with this disappointment. So I wrote it off this week. I was like, he might like add like a picture, you know. And I was thinking that when it came to the um, 365 day mark, um, they came out with the, the picture for Lex Luthor. Um, but now, reading this new report, and this comes from IGN. I'm going to read it to y'all verbatim. Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice trailer premieres Monday. In IMAX theaters. The world's finest are coming to the big screen near you. Yesterday, a rumor leaked the director Zack Snyder will be debuting a five minute tease on Thursday on a highly anticipated trailer for even more highly anticipated Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. That tease, it reported, would be laid up to an online setup process for fans that they'd be a result to be able to debut the full trailer in theaters on Monday, just just the trailer in the theater. And now the second part of that rumor at least can be confirmed. So this is what it reads. Vanity's uh, sources say IMAX will debut the first full trailer for Batman vs Superman. Note they say only Batman vs Superman trailer on Monday and some of its theaters. Whether or not the sec whether or not this five second tease is said to be happening tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, is still in the cards are unclear. The trade site reports that Celebration Cinema Theater in Grand Rapids, Michigan revealed that the trailer debut calling it Batman vs. Superman IMAX trailer event. It had a runtime of 15 minutes. What? The, the theater's website appears to have been taking the post down that the 15 minute time, but can assume that the number is not indicative of the actual trailer length. The Tino Review, which had an initial report yesterday, also said that the runtime trailer is attached to the, run, the actual time that the trailer will be attached to, also with Avengers, an actual Marvel based film that's taking place. And on international borders, it will actually start first April the 22nd. So these time frames might actually coincide. So, is this true? Can y'all believe that, Dre? Right? Okay, one other thing that it leading me to believe that this this is real factual information. I read a post 
maybe two days ago, because I remember researching. And I was going in and I was listening, I was reading it, and it had like attachment of the actual time frame of how long the trailer is. I think it's like roughly like two minutes to 30 seconds. And uh, it was kind of like a preview set for each one of the theater to come out. So it was actually credited and I forgot what the terminology is, where it's actually stamped that this is going to be an actual trailer. And so I was looking at it, I was like, man, this is cool. Now I got this information. Yo, this will be the biggest April Fool's prank on me, if that's the case. But, and I'm going to have to pick up the camera just for this. <laughs> Hear me. YouTube. If the trailer comes out, no, better yet, scratch that. If tomorrow <laughs> there is a five second like tease of the Batman vs. Superman trailer on Zack Snyder's Twitter page, I will be recording my reaction to that. On that same day, if they have the sign up tomorrow, I'm definitely going to the IMAX premiere for that. And you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be filming that entire thing because I'm going to bring as many of my friends out there as possible. And of course, on May the 1st, why not? Avengers? Come on! I'm going to bring every single one of my friends that I possibly can to go check out Avengers. It's going to be an awesome movie in and of itself, but to be able to watch the trailer again? What? But this is the thing that, that gets me and grips me. Why would they put 15 minutes though? Could this be the first 15 minutes of the movie? And then the trailer come out for the Avengers. Or, or, y'all remember, there was a long time ago. Now, I've always speculated this might be factual information. That there was supposed to be possibly a trailer um, event that happened last year. But they had said in the post that there are two parts to Batman vs Superman. In that message, it said Batman vs Superman. It didn't say Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. What if, into the night is the first part that comes out this year and next year will be Dawn of Justice. Now, I'm, I'm not saying this is possible necessarily, but I wouldn't, this is the thing. Civil War is supposed to be coming out the same year, the same time frame. They haven't even shot anything. And y'all telling me, <laughs> they shot this whole entire movie. They, they doing the score of it now. And I mean, yeah, okay, I can understand the score that might lead way that it's gonna take time. But I guarantee you it's not going to take them six months or even, shoot, I doubt even three months to actually get it done. So what if in October they actually come out with the first part of Batman vs. Superman Enter the Night? I'm just saying, that would be awesome. But from what I can see, this look definitely going to happen is that we're going to probably get the first trailer on Monday. And I'm happy about that. That's awesome. And if not on Monday, then it's going to be coming out with Avengers. If not then, in May, Mad Max comes out. So either way, just be happy. <laughs> but I had to share it with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, for life, dog. <laughs> anyway, this is SCL0320 giving y'all this up-to-date news. And I am so freaking tired. I'm on a high just because of Arrow and what happened with that. Check out that review or spoiler review um, before. If you enjoyed my reaction slash talk about the possibility of us getting a official trailer for Batman vs Superman that we can all watch on a regular basis, click the like below <laughs> and then definitely comment what your speculation your thoughts are about anything I've talked about. Later everybody, SCL0220 signing out. Woo!